Hello and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. Last week we talked about how important it is to introduce a check condition as the first step of every workflow you built. But if you're watching this video and you say, well, it's already too late, I already built a bunch of workflows and now I need to you know, introduce a condition, I don't wanna build them again, well, how can you solve that? Well, that is the tip for this week. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to deactivate the workflow that I have already created. So you wanna turn that off. And the reason why I'm turning this off is because I need to convert this workflow into a child workflow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna capture all this information here. I'm gonna copy the name and I'm gonna add child to this. Child update estimated close date by not and, and notify David. So, so I'm gonna copy that and then I need to check this box. So as a child process, right? So I'm no longer going to trigger this upon record creation. I will be triggering it as a child process. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that again. So that's only change I'm gonna make is I'm gonna switch the triggering mechanism of this workflow from record created on to child. So once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and create another workflow. Now in this case, I'm gonna paste the name and I'm gonna add parent in here and for the category once again it will be workflow for the entity will be opportunity so oops not IOT but opportunity let's click on the right thing all right and once I create this workflow again I'm not going to go through the entire creation of it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say when the record is created obviously I will add my condition in here because that's why we're having an issue so you will add your condition I'm just going to pick something so I'm going to say if the opportunity account contains data just to make it quick but obviously you'll add your condition there and then for the steps here is where it goes here is where you start a child workflow so now now I'm able to select that child workflow here and this will be now my condition. So whenever an opportunity is created, the parent will launch, it will check for the condition that you meant to check from the beginning and then start the child workflow. So you don't have to recreate the whole thing. You can just leverage a parent workflow for it. So I hope you enjoyed this week's tip and we'll see you next week.